Chairman from Nevada is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, Mr. Chairman. I rise today in support of the Home Builders Assistance and Improvement Act of 2010. The first time home buyer tax credit has helped bring stability to the struggling housing market in southern Nevada. In total, over 25,000 Nevadans have collected about $200 million from the credit, which has dramatically reduced the state's excess housing inventory. In southern Nevada, short sales have become more and more common as lenders and owners are able to avoid the arduous and costly process of foreclosure and buyers can then purchase a home slightly below market value. Unlike a traditional sale of property between an owner and a buyer, however, short sales must be approved by the holder of the mortgage. In many cases, although a purchase price is agreed to by the seller and the buyer, the lender may not approve the sale for months. Certainly this has been the case in Nevada. As a result, many first-time home buyers have entered into an agreement for a short sale prior to the April 30th deadline, but have not yet been able to close on the purchase price prior to the upcoming June 30th deadline. According to local experts, the Home Buyers Assistance and Improvement Act of 2010 before us now will extend to October the 1st, the date by which purchasers must close the sale of a home in order to obtain the home buyer tax credit. And this will allow approximately 3,800 first-time home buyers in southern Nevada to receive the credit. It's a fair solution that will help consumers who met all the eligibility requirements for the credit, but have had the timely process of their loans held up through no fault of their own. So I thank the Chairman for his assistance in moving this forward. I urge my colleagues to support the legislation, and I yield back the balance of my time. General yields back balance of time. Gentlemen.